sleep with. So it's no last night. Um, but with no big noises, snoring, that type of thing. Occasionally someone would get to go to the bathroom, but not very often. So, uh, the two caretaker uh, people got up uh, about a quarter of six, come down and start getting stuff ready for the pancakes and that. And uh, a few people were getting a little noisy trying to get their stuff for their pack together and that type of thing. I just did my uh, underquilt or my top coat on the bag and battery pack and pretty much left it as it is and I'll finish packing when I've eaten. Um, it looks like a blue sky right now but I think the chance of rain is here. I've got uh, 18, 19 miles to do. I think most of us are <laughs> going the same way. Uh, we weren't going southbound. So uh, it'd be good to get there before it gets filled up. So I'll go back into the dining room and see if I can have some coffee or something like that. Something like this, I guess you have to bring your own water though. Soap. In a mirror. I guess it must be their utility garage, another tank of gas. The people uh, who work as caretakers are only here for one week from mid May until something like mid October quite a while and I guess they have quite a few number of people who like the idea of volunteering and just staying out here for a week other than uh, the pancake breakfast and a little bit of tidiness uh, it's all up to the hiker to keep uh, their own stuff clean do their own dishes etc so it's not so bad a little after 7.30, 7.45-ish. It's one of the first to leave. <laughs> and it came down to this uh, highway section. Passed a couple hikers, day hikers I guess. We uh, mentioned it's going to be a hot one and yeah there's a lot of blue up there, very high cloud. Humidity is fairly high. And uh, across the other side of the highway now. Um, I'm expecting at about a mile 11 to go or meet the cookie lady who's uh, indicated in Get Hook. Maybe get a cookie. And I believe that they have. Uh, Pick your own blueberry patch or something like that. I assume it's free. And uh, those are the blueberries that were in the pancakes this morning. They're like big and plump and very tasty. So it might be worthwhile to stop there and have uh, my titanium mug and <laughs> throw a few in there to snack on. Uh, the shelter I'm heading for is about like 18 miles. Apparently after a climb, like I went up a little bit there and down, I have to probably go up again. It's pretty level. 
train is supposed to be pretty good so I should be able to make it without much trouble and uh, in the back of my mind I'm thinking well I could go on to the town I can't remember what it's called now Dalton I think uh, there's a hiker friendly person down there I believe who uh, is kind of famous in that they can provide water I was wondering if this is the AT or not I think it is uh, and you can stay in a tent in his backyard so uh, that would be like 21 miles so I might actually do that depending on the weather I feel at the time etc and uh, yeah it's supposed to be good terrain for a while anyway and the way they talk is a lot nicer scenery and uh, that should perk me up I think a lot because I've been kind of so bored of the trees and that type of thing so this little house farm and big barn there so I'm going back in the trees here <laughs> and uh, I'll have a little drink of water I think and I'll talk to you in a bit And uh, last evening is people kept arriving and arriving into the evening uh, and all the bunks I think were definitely used Oop, I think I may have lost myself here oh, okay and uh, a couple people I hadn't seen for some time one was called Ghost I'd met him oh, two or three weeks ago I think can't even remember where. I think he remember where, but <laughs> I couldn't. And uh, Pork Rind. He's the guy who I kept forgetting his trail name. I uh, kept saying, oh, he's the guy with the glasses and the short beard. <laughs> I think it was like Devil's Backbone place, a restaurant, for example. So, uh, where he was. Anyway, uh, yeah, he was off the trail for nearly a week he said and because he was doing 20 mile days and I don't think he had any zeros he caught me <laughs> so I'm sure after one or two days he'll be off ahead of me again and I won't see him probably after this it's just like K-Town uh, you know he's gonna be off for like 10 days I think he said he may well pull off a lot of big days and the way I'd been feeling, maybe he would catch me. <sighs> Other than that, um, I felt almost like I was drugged this morning walking along a little bit of a, a daze or 
something like that. And I'm wondering if it's that ibuprofen PM after effect. So I think I'm going to uh, stop using it for a couple days and just use the regular ibuprofen in the evening and uh, see how that goes because I had two last night. As I was saying, I didn't have a solid sleep, but at least I didn't uh, feel the need to have to get up and go pee, which was more problematic there because of uh, having to leave the building to go to uh, outside to pee. Plus, <laughs> uh, the caretaker had mentioned how there were people who were leaving uh, Gatorade bottles under the bunk with urine in them. Like they were just leaving behind and take care of dumping them and packing out the plastic themselves. It was pretty pitiful. I mean, if you forgot, okay, but it sounds like it was more than forgetting. Like the girl who brought uh, a six pack of beer in glass bottles. Or the guy with the, the six pack of cans. You know, they offered them drinks to other people. The question is, who's packing that out? The person who brought the bottles and cans? Or if you accepted the drink, <laughs> did you accept the pack out procedure? I think it uh, should be that way. It's kind of like the pancakes this morning. You had to clean your own plate and fork. One guy he just was using the hand wash water. I said, hey, I've got uh, two pans here, one with soapy water and one with rinse water. And uh, why don't you use this instead? <laughs> so, oh, I did get an extra pancake at the end. There were still a couple of people who hadn't eaten. So, one of them was just sitting there, a lady, she was there when I was uh, getting mine. And of course, there were a couple of people who got theirs before mine, even though I was there first. <laughs> no biggie. They were good. And with the real maple syrup, too, which uh, really matters. So, the sun is out. There's a bit of a breeze blowing through. I get the noise seams every now and then. And uh, temperature is good. Very nice. Um, the plan is the shelter at 18 or 19 miles from that Upper Goose Lake cabin. But the uh, possibility is to go into the town of Dalton, which is just another couple miles in. There's a former through hiker, I guess, who has a house there and uh, known for letting people get water from his spigot outside and letting people camp in his backyard. And I think he sometimes gives them ice cream or something like that. Maybe I probably had that wrong. Anyway, so that would uh, give me a couple more miles and just put me over 20, maybe 21. But it all depends on how I feel when I get to the shelter, you know, the time of day, how I feel. Because I know that uh, the tramway is coming up behind me, and I think they're going to the shelter at least, if not Dalton. And it'll just be crowded. And the rest to go in the morning to beat them. How I tend to feel about things like that. Uh, I did talk about uh, a tramway a day or maybe two back of 12 people. Apparently they were two separate tramways and the father figures were yay, uh, hooked up with one another. <laughs> and So they wanted to walk together. So the tramways walked together and I think they called the, the combined tramway the Brady Bunch for that reason. So don't want to fall into that because that is a big number of people all in one group. And, uh, yeah, 
tough enough going to be with stuff bounders now, using the shelters as well. The number is growing as I go further north, and more people from that uh, are starting being run into. Anyway, my arm is really tired, I gotta put it down now. about uh, the upper goose pond uh, cabin the caretakers uh, rotate every week uh, they're all volunteer and uh, they're open from mid-may to mid-october and so I guess they have a lot of people who want to uh, work there for a week and uh, that was the the day I arrived it was the first day for the uh, two of them Sarah and Molly I think their names were um, and other than giving the speech to the new hikers when they came in, probably not a whole lot to do other than pancakes in the morning. <laughs> that three prong was probably the best like, investment I ever bought. I think I bought on trail. Yeah. It's so convenient. Spent uh, nearly two hours with the guys and girls at uh, the Cookie Lady place. We're getting motivated enough to get up and get going. I think there is a reading of the weather and <laughs> a slight chance of uh, rain before getting to the shelter, which is six point something miles away. So at least a three hour walk remaining to get there. So I guess I'm not going to Dalton. I don't mean I get to the shelter about five. I'm sure uh, pork rind is probably there if you didn't go into Dalton and ghost. I don't know about ghost using shelters, but I'm sure pork rind is probably in it. And uh, I'm planning on getting in it, especially if rain is predicted. But you never know how many self boundaries are going to be there too. Because they're becoming more frequent now that uh, you know, we're hitting that wave, so that's a totally unknown now. So leaving early and knowing who is in front of you isn't important anymore because that wild card is South Bounders. So oh, I think uh, spread a sheet. <laughs> communicating with the wife and test about the idea of trying to buy the cookie lady's place. She, she came out and talked for a bit, a little bit at senile, I'm afraid, but uh, lived there all her, well, quite a long part of her life. Anyway, spread a sheet that saw as a place where you could live with the wife and kids and have a hiker hostel in uh, Another building that was also there in the property that needed some repair. And it's right off the AT and apparently near a city, whatever's around here. I like Dalton, that type of thing. So maybe if they're really going to go for it, be kind of neat. He uh, even looked up what it was estimated value was on some website, it's like 350000 So, okay, okay, I can sell my place, get that place in Lamborghini, but then I realize, well, Canadian dollar to American, all I could afford was the house, <laughs> no Lambo. So, oh well, weather is still nice. I'm gonna try to uh, keep the pace up, get to that shelter. The bugs are out, that's for sure.
cooked the bag there. I'm waiting for it to uh, soften all the rice and pasta. Put a cheddar stick in there, cut, cut up in a little bit, um, cheddar broccoli. I've had uh, a wrap with uh, tuna, with ranch dressing on it, and I've uh, been eating some M&M peanuts, M&M and Sour Patch Kids waiting for dinner to be ready. <laughs> the idea of eating the entire bag so that I lose that much weight in my pack. Tomorrow, I think we go through Dalton and Cheshire, if I said that right. And in Cheshire, about a thousand feet off of the trail, uh, is Dalton General. So I'll pop in there and, you know, pick up another tuna on the British side. And uh, maybe some trail mitts or mixed nuts for uh, my snack bag. Otherwise, I think I'm okay. Oh, the bag is so heavy. I don't want to have to keep carrying heavy food all the time. Oh. I had a plan that, okay, I'm going to that town and I will be resupplying there. Then I could carry only the food to get me there. That way we get lighter and lighter and lighter. So maybe uh, the last town, what's it called? The place that Peter sent my uh, winter gear uh, and I had over. Anyway, um, maybe I'll think about that. That, uh, but that's still a bit away. You know, it's going to be at least another week. So, got my tent set up as a big bug bivy. There was a hole knot through the board at one end near the middle, which worked, and I took my. Uh, trekking pole, the one that hadn't been bent, and I adjusted it to ram it in between the bottom and top. I don't know if you can even see it. And at the top I have a bunch of cord looped around and that uh, holding up the other end of the tent. Seems to be working okay. Um, hopefully when I get in there and start moving that round, that uh, pole won't get knocked off or pop loose at the top without enough vertical pressure. Um, Jeopardy is going to be sleeping in there as well as the only other person in the shelter. Everyone else is in tents. The weather still looks very nice. You can know there's a low chance of rain. Ugh. Stuff in my hair. And uh, I don't know what the weather report is tomorrow. I don't have cell coverage again. I think uh, I heard a ding and while I was walking, so I must have had a little bit of coverage uh, at one point, and maybe I got some emails or texts, and I can respond to those. Um, otherwise, not much else to talk about. Uh, it's a nice shelter, but in a nice location. Uh, had I not stopped at the Cookie Lady's place or at the other shelter and, and ended up talking with uh, Slurner, as long as we did, I probably would have been here about 2.30, and at that point I would have gone on to town. So. I'm going to get the extra weight. Mm -hmm. E-line, it's <laughs> sort of understood. <laughs> yeah. He's a conniving feline. That's really good. Picked off the oh, side so of good. I mean, I've never had them be cold <laughs> soaked, but... <laughs> Yeah, their um, guacamoles are not bad. They're, yeah. they're, this bean dip, if you do it hot yeah. on like a tortilla with oh. Fritos, it's like, like no. the bomb. Food. What? It's like so good. What? Mm. I got it. Dope. Oh. Yeah. Are you about my relation to it scanning? No. It's more so the activity that you're doing on yeah. your own. The show, the show goes, so go shuffle. 24 times. Oh, right, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the solo shuffle. Y'all a bunch of freaks. Mm -hmm. That's the solo shuffle. It's different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what oh, I was going to say. Got him. Bye. I was going to say solo shuffle. <laughs> I stole it from your mind. Yeah. Thank you for giving it to me. No problem. Inception, did you reverse oh, inception? Yeah.